Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because they've kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. All right, we about to talk about Jasmine. Let me first start off by saying I do not have Alien. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not that fond of Alien, so that won't be in my collection. But I do have Journey Woman by Amirage. And this one here uh, has this beautiful apricot note. And I think I've been saying it before that I really want to get into apricot. And once I really get into it, I might start combining my apricots into their own category. Uh, but it is Osmothis, um, uh, apricot, nutmeg, and cardamom. I will say, Amirage is a fragrance line that you have to find what you like. It is not a it's not a blind buy worthy line. You don't just go blind buy an an Amirage fragrance. You have to sample it. Uh, this one I did like because the honey kind of softened the jasmine. And you'll notice as I go through my jasmines, there's some other note with jasmine that softens it or enhances it. Uh, it's not just pure jasmine because I think that's what Alien was for me, just pure jasmine. Uh, this one does have saffron and tobacco in it. I like Journey Woman. My next one in this category is going to be portrayal woman uh actually bought it by mistake but i really i really enjoyed it the opening is heavy in jasmine uh then it quickly turns into like this smoky tobacco vanilla note and then jasmine becomes a secondary scent uh never actually goes away uh but it's not predominant to me once that opening passes and this is portrayal woman uh, but you have to be um, cautious because it does have, and I want to say it's emo, but there's a note in it that does get a, a bit um, animatic. So this can become clawing in heat. Um, and I think that if someone was to wear this in heat, it would not be a great scent. <laughs> I think you have to wear this like in the in the cool seasons, winter, late fall. Uh, here in United States, maybe January, February, when it's kind of still got a little snow out, um, but but not in heat. I would not wear this fragrance in heat. Uh, this is a good affordable one that I would always have in my collection as long as I can find it. And it's going to be my Burberry Black. I love this one. Uh, I don't have a lot of designer scents left in my collection um, like I used to have when I first started my collection uh this one is jasmine peach rose amber and patchouli it's it's a really beautiful fragrance affordable beautiful fragrance i have another house of siage this one here is whisper of innocence um i started off with decants i bought the whole it was like a like a, a decant set right and it had all the whispers in it and uh there was only two that i end up keeping and whisper of innocence was one of them uh it has a lime opening which lime on my skin can become kind of musty 
but oddly enough, this one did not do that. So that's how it, it you know, it got to stay there. Uh, the vi is a violet leaf, so it's a beautiful like powderiness to it. Uh, the beeswax uh, kind of add a bit of gourmandness to the Egypt Egyptian jasmine that's in it. Uh, so that blend helped it along with vanilla and amber. Outside the fact that I just really think the House of Siage bottles are beautiful. Um, I did enjoy this one. My next Whisper fragrance is going to be Whisper of Temptation. Uh, and this is by House of Siage. Again, it was in that same little discovery set. It has black currant, cardamom, and plum in it. Love the plum and cardamom blicks. Um, blend because it gives like almost like a spiciness to the plum so it's not like a juicy plum it's more of a like a spicy plum a savory should I say it's like a savory plum note uh, then saffron rose petals and then the night blooming jasmine that's in here there is a uh, bath and body work spray that's called night blooming jasmine if I'm not mistaken, I'll make sure that um, I post it up so that you can see which one I'm talking about. Uh, beautiful. When I say pairs with this, gorgeous and sets this fragrance off, it's gorgeous. Uh, it also has argyle wood suede. There's a soft, almost like um, soft, soft, very smooth suede note. Not a leather, but like a suede note. Uh, in it. I really enjoyed uh, Whisper of, of Temptations, but these were the only Whisper ones that C I, uh, House of Siage came out with that I did end up putting in my collection. My next one is African Queen. If you have not gotten African Queen by Josette, I feel like you're missing out. You got to go get it. Uh, sample it, please. Please sample it because don't take my word for it. Uh, I think that is an absolutely amazing fragrance. Uh, but I do think that anything that I talk about that I have in my collection or anyone talks about in their collection, uh, try it out. Try it out and see if it fits your nose. But I like African Queen. Uh, think almond, dark chocolate, and lemon is the opening. I know, delicious, wonderfully edible opening, right? And then it quickly becomes this beautiful floral fragrance that is so unique. Uh, the Bulgarian rose, the jasmine, uh, just starts to like intertwine with each other. Gorgeous combo. I would not have thought a rose and a jasmine would go together until I got African Queen and they go amazing together. My next one is Nashani by Nashani. Uh, this is a very good unisex fragrance. Um, I think it works great on men and women. Uh, I have it with my jasmine fragrances because on me, I do get jasmine off of, off of my chemistry with it. Uh, people do find this one kind of unique because the opening is carrot seed. Uh, so um, a lot of people are not accustomed to that, that carrot seed, seed and that cardamom on some people can become uh, very animatic. Uh, not on me. It did not do that on me. Uh, I got more of the floral notes, more of the rose notes. Um, it had this like almost watery fruit. I would say like a maybe a raspberry or a um, a raspberry or like even maybe a watermelon note. That's what I got like a freshness um, in it. So that's what made me truly enjoy it. Um, I liked it. So, um, there is a powdery base to it. Uh, so some powdery notes and some orbits and men might say that might be a little too feminine leaning for them. Uh, so like I always say, try it, try it out, see, see how it works for you because the opening might be a little strong and that powdery note might be a little bit too much. But for me, it's in my collection because I enjoyed the combination of all of it. My next one is uh, going to be Bella Essence. Bella Essence of the whole Bella line by Oscar De La Rente. Bella Essence was one of the ones that I thought was amazing. Um, 
and there's a white bottle and i cannot think right now of what the white bottle name is and i want to say it's bella blanca or blanca bella um my mother loved that one it was a little too uh white floral heavy for me maybe because it had like a tuberose and i think when i initially had it i had it in my tuberose selection but then i gave it to my mother there was a pink one the pink one kind of remind me a lot of delena so um, I didn't get that one, but there's a blue one out, um, and I can't think of the name of the blue one, and I'm kind of curious about that one, so I might try to go sample the blue bottle and see if um, if I'm going to add that one, but I do have Bella Essence, and it's red currant, raspberry, vanilla, rose, jasmine, abroxin, and I think I really like it because I like abroxin, musk, and patchouli. This one here is one of them that's by The Body Shop. And I try not to really show these very often because I don't even think that you, I don't think that they make them anymore. And if they do make them, it's probably not the same um, formula when they initially came out. But this one was uh, Kahaya, uh, I think is how you say it. Uh, it has pink pepper, mandarin, orange. It has uh, terry flower, white flowers, and jasmine in it. It's a beautifully floral fragrance with a touch of gourmand from the praline and the amber. So I liked, I really enjoyed this. It was a whole line that they had at one point in the body shop. And I ended up buying all of them um, before they stopped making them. But this is really like white florals. So if you like a white floral and you happen to come across this fragrance um, on a... Um, a Macari or something. I think that's when the last time I've ever seen one of Macari. I don't know if I would do eBay um, as much as I might do a Macari. Um, if you see someone who might have it and it's dark like mine is, uh, not really, not light, because uh, then get it. I think you should get it and try it. And it should be really be affordable because a lot of people are not really thinking about the, you know these fragrances anymore. Uh, but I, I enjoy it. If you like white florals and pink pepper, I think you should get it. Now, this last one that I have, uh, I have it I have it in the jasmine section because this might be the only lavender fragrance that I do have um, is going to be YSL Libre. To me, it's lavender. Um, I know a lot of people say there are other notes in YSL Libre that they find, but to me, it's lavender. The opening is lavender. Uh, the orange blossom comes in. Uh, so... When I initially got this one, I kind of thought it was masculine because of the lavender opening. But then as it kind of sat and macerated, then I got more jasmine, uh, vanilla, tonka bean. I got the like the beauty of having Libre in your collection. But initially, I, I got lavender. So I have it in this section because this is the only lavender fragrance that I have. So I have it close to jasmine because it kind of pulls kind of lavender jasmine to me. Okay, so let's talk about tuberose. Uh, my first tuberose that I have is going to be Fire Island by Bond Number no. 9. And uh, this one is very simple, but yet uh great wonderfully put together it has tuberose neroli white musk and cardamom uh i find that this is great in the like early early summer early early because of the neroli not uh like right when spring kind of turns summery uh then i think fire island by bond number nine works great this one here is Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. Beautiful. Like, there's really no other word for it than that. There, if you're looking for a milky floral note, but like a latonic floral note, but not too milky, not too um, sourness to it, then I think Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme would work. If you like Good Girl gone bad then i think that you would like the extreme i think they enhance the two rows uh latonic amber notes in it um they brought a lot of those heavy bass and brought it forward 
like the cedar note they kind of uh pumped it up in this one here so you have to like those notes uh to to like extreme if those are like overwhelming for you then i think you ought to just get good girl gone bad because it was beautiful it was beautiful by itself um i have another shoe and this one here is called good girl um i want to say look here uh I liked this one because they put Dulce de Leche in it. And they made it more like milky gourmand. And then they topped it off and enhanced the tuberose and kind of lowered the jasmine that was in it. So I think um, I had mentioned before, I do have a couple of shoes in my collection. But each shoe that I have, um, to me, were different. So I was able to add them. This one is a really good one if you're looking for like a milky, creamy, uh, tonka bean, like gourmandness, right? With some floral. Beautiful, fresh scent. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh scent. This will be more on your fresh side of the, of the good girls. My next one is going to be Dorja. And this one here um, was like a, a, it was like a find that I found on uh, Marshall's website. And I liked it. Um, it was, it, it, it tricked my interest because it had melon, tuberose, and orris in it. And it's like two doses of tuberose. And I like tuberose. So I was like, mm, I'm going to try it. Uh, I haven't kind of found my way with it yet. Uh, so I'm still trying it out. Because there are times that I wear and it's kind of heavy in jasmine. And um, I'm not really a heavy jasmine type uh, fragrance person. So I haven't figured my way out with this one. But I like it enough that it's still there. Um, it's not on the chopping block, but I haven't kind of found my way. You have to find your way with fragrances. My next one is going to be Classique by John Paul Gaultier. This is such a beautiful fragrance a beautifully sexy fragrance should i say uh the bottle just really gives you everything <laughs> right i love it i love the orange blossom opening the blend of the star anise with the rose and ylang ylang the spiciness of the ginger that's in this one uh there's like a powderiness to it that blends great with the tuberose and this is not like um and for me i know and i, I might not have mentioned it uh I, I lean more to the bubble gum type rose like almost like a sweetie rose or not me i mean the kind of bubble gum smell of tuberose let me say that um so most of mine kind of have that bubble gum smell to it uh powdery um lack of a better way to describe it like hubba bubba and i might be aging myself when i say this but it's gum that has like a powderiness on the outside of the gum that's what the or the type of tuberoses that i enjoy and it also does have plum and cinnamon and classic so i enjoy my next one is going to be 100 silent ways one of the best nishani fragrances in my opinion the tuberose peach and orange mix is gorgeous to me uh it does have jasmine in this one too but it's like a uh that that orris powdery note with the tuberose kind of just makes it better for me so that's what 100 silent ways is for me uh beautiful scent my next one is going to be cypra chypra um 1943 this was a good find for me by uh, Noble 1942. I liked it. I really enjoyed it because it was African orange flower, Mandarin orange. So it's like almost like an orangey opening to it. Then it's jasmine and tuberose and rose mix. So you get all of the roses that, I mean, all of the floral notes that I enjoy. Jasmine, rose, tuberose. Uh, you get all of that in this fragrance. And then the base of it is an ambery vanilla. Uh so I really, I, I like, I like the way that was put together. This is another body shop. And again, um, I don't like to always mention these because I don't think you can find them anymore. 
You might not be able to find them unless you go on to Macari. Uh, this one here, um, I want to say is Night Night Grittily. Night, um, the the name, sorry, kind of throw me off. Uh, this one was a greenish, and I don't really like green fragrance, <laughs> but it was like a greenish, like leafy. But by having the tuberose in, it kind of reminded me of a like a bouquet of flowers right uh the orange and vermont um bergamot opening was citrus like but the fragrance itself reminded me of like a floral bouquet maybe like a bouquet that a bride would have on her wedding day right fresh flowers smelled like a floral shop when you first walk in and you get uh hit with all of the notes um from the shop you get the roses the calla lilies the um magnolias the like all of those different floral notes in a floral shop that is what um this was for me in a bottle and to round off my two rows is going to be orchid salu um Soule. and this is so hard to find i would i'm 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 babying this bottle <laughs> and i say hard to find because it, it's a certain price point that i'm just refusing to pay for some fragrances being that i have such a large collection uh, but this is uh, Cypress Pink Pepper uh, Bitter Orange Two Rose Red Lily. Like for Time 4, this is before Time 4 was bought out, right? This was gorgeous. There's a whipped cream and a chestnut note to this fragrance. Just absolutely amazing. You know, one of the top uh, Time 4s, like there's a couple of Time 4s that I have in my collection that I think was amazing well amazingly done i think this is where tom ford was still in the position to uh have an opinion with the perfumers as they were making these fragrances and he was putting all his love into the fragrance um so i really enjoyed this one and um if by chance i come across a large bottle of it i'm going to get the large bottle or hopefully if someone who's watching this video you have it and you don't like it please dm me um, I want it. I want the larger bottle. <laughs> but this rounds off my tuberose. So these are my tuberose fragrances that I have in my collection. I hope one of these catches your eye and you think about getting it. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into, that you could add to your collection. But I always want to know, what do you have that I need to get into? What do I need to start uh, smelling? I have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents. So in the topic we talked about today, if you know of a fragrance I need to add, Tell me about it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video.